Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to the channel. So finally we're back and uh, we're gonna be working today on the Vitassi rocket and this is how it looks and that's how we left it last time we worked on it. And what well, today we're gonna do, uh, basically uh, we're gonna try to do the engine mounts for the bike. Well, let me move the angle of the camera. So right here, as you can see, I have the engine and this is the frame of the bike. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to try to do some engine mounts uh, to hold the engine in place. I don't want them under the seat anymore. So we're going to do it from, well, we're going to weld the engine mounts from this part of the frame of the bike. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the tire back on the engine and we're going to go from there. So now that I put already the tire, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these, you know, weights uh, under the engine case so that way I can balance the engine and put it like the way it's supposed to go so that way I can uh, take measurements and start uh, building the engine mounts so let's do it but the engine looks pretty straight now and that's gonna help me a lot because that's gonna uh, give me some more uh, clearance so whenever I build the uh, because I'm gonna build again <laughs> you know the exhaust muffler so there's gonna be a lot of clearance underneath the engine case and you know that's a good thing so right now I remember uh, the engine used to be about a 11, not 10 inches and three quarters from this edge of the frame to this hole right here. Right now we have around uh, 13 inches, so I have to move the engine two inches and one eighth of an inch. Well, whatever, so let's move it a little bit this way. So right there we have the uh, 10 inches and 3 quarters that I used to have before. I cut everything in pieces and right now what we need to find is the center. We need to center the rear wheel with this part of the frame right here so that way I don't have an, you know, the wheel is not to the right or to the left so it can be on the center. So let's do it. So right now, so I can be able to find the real or the true center of the frame and the wheel. I'm gonna use this uh, flat bar, which I'm gonna put uh, on the edge of the wheel. And it has to be touching both sides of the wheel like this. And I'm gonna measure how many inches I have from the edge of the flat bar to this part of the frame and you know I'm gonna put the wheel with the same inches from on the left side and the right side I don't know if I explain myself really good but you'll see
So actually right now is the next day and I already, you know, label everything, everything's aligned. The front wheel, the back wheel, the engine, uh, everything is where it's supposed to go. And I have this uh, C channel uh, bar or metal thing, this one right here. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna uh, cut this thing right here. And this is gonna go here on the engine. Well, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to cut this piece of uh, bar, uh, metal thing. And it's gonna go from here to this part of the motorcycle frame. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side to hold it right here because the I'm gonna do the same on this side, but here's gonna be a little bit different because the uh, engine mount is gonna have like a fanny, you know, turn here. Because if I do it straight, like on this side, I'm not gonna be able to weld it uh, anywhere. So right now I'm gonna do the you know, I'm gonna cut it and been two or three days since I welded this piece right here which I was going to use uh, to make the engine mount but there is gonna be a change of plans uh, right now I went to my uh, local hardware store and I grabbed this three and a quarter uh, or not three quarter inch pipe which I'm going to use well, which I'm going to use uh, to make the mount for the engine I cut this one from the old uh, metal structure and I'm gonna weld it here just I mean I don't know if you can see it really well but that's gonna make everything easier because it's gonna save me some time because I don't have to make this again and if it's perfectly so I'm gonna cut the pipe uh, to the line I need for the engine mount and and the piece that I welded, you know, it's not gonna go to waste because I'm gonna cut it too, and I'm gonna reinforce the metal structure or the frame of the bike. So I'm gonna weld this right here, and uh, of course I'm gonna cut it to size, and I'm gonna add another 
three quarter inch by to this side so I can you know mount uh, both sides of the engine and that's what we're gonna do right now so let's get started So guys, after uh, cutting the scooter frame, uh, as you can see here, uh, I didn't notice my camera wasn't recording, but I was bending some uh, pipe because I uh, originally was thinking about putting this thing right here, and uh, sorry for the noise, and welding it. So right there, but I think that's gonna look pretty bad. So I was trying to do something better. Uh, something like, you know, like that. But I don't know if you can see the dents on the pipe, they, they suck. And it's because I don't have experience using a pipe bender. It's the first time ever. So I'm not gonna use this piece anymore. This is, you know, I'm gonna use this for something else in the future. But what I'm doing right now, I have this uh, steel rod, and this is better, this is a half an inch, but because it's more dense and it's more heavy, I think it's gonna make a better uh, engine mount. But uh, I bend this part with the pipe bender, but I cannot, you know the angle from here to here is really small so the pipe bender cannot uh like i cannot use the pipe bender so i'm gonna heat this up and i'm gonna bend it like with my hand so let's do it
reached the end of this video, uh, but before we continue, I would like to give an apology because I haven't been able to do any videos lately. And there is so much going on in my life, you know, like work, uh, family, and some other stuff that sometimes it's hard to find the time to work on, you know, my motorcycle. But hopefully, uh, everything goes back to normal and, you know, uh, I'll be able to do more videos. Also, it doesn't look like I did much right now, but I'm gonna leave everything right here because I'm going to order some new parts for the motorcycle, which is gonna change the look a little. I don't think it's gonna look too bad, but I have the engine mount right here, which I was gonna weld it to the engine, but I, uh, I'm not gonna do it right now until I get those parts, because I think once I get those parts, I'm gonna need to lift this part of the frame a little bit, something like this. So I don't wanna weld this and then I'm gonna have to make any changes or anything. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. And for all the new subscribers, uh, welcome. Yeah. My name is Jose Luis Rodriguez, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one, bye!